okay, so as you saw from the email, no equipment was needed. I am gonna have you start seated. We're gonna fire up the brain first. So if you could please sit right on your caboose on the floor. And don't worry, we're gonna get some movement right away. So when you get on your fanny, I want you to bend your knees and then just put your feet in front of you, right? So this is not meant to be a hamstring stretch. You know, you're just getting legs in front of you and your knees are popped up a little bit. It is important. Um, I'm not certain that everybody's in gallery view. So let me just say, put your feet like fist to hip width apart on the floor when you're seated. So I don't want you crisscrossed, in other words, okay? So you want your right leg on your right side, left leg on your left side. Okay, everybody put their hands out. Now, some of us are gonna be like, wow, okay, you already have to start potentially using your abs here, okay? Can you just touch your right hand to your right knee? And then touch your left hand to your left knee. And then you're gonna crisscross and touch both knees, okay? Now, some of you are not seated, but it's gonna be important because how are you gonna be able to lift both legs, right? So get yourself on your butts. Okay, so one more time now, right hand, right leg, left hand, left leg. When it's both, you're gonna hover your feet off of the floor and touch both knees. And then they go down. Good, thumbs up. I love this, yes or yes, great. Okay, I'm gonna to try to stay back enough that everybody can see. So if the dot is on the right side, your right hand touches your right leg. If it's on the left, your left hand touches the left. Both crisscross, use your abs, lift those knees up. All right, we're in a transition. It is gonna be the same exact thing, but if it's your right, you're also gonna lift your right foot off the floor when you touch your knee. So you lift your right foot up, touch the knee, lift your left foot up, touch the knee, or same for crisscross, lift both. My apologies if there's any little snippet not in your screen appropriately, I'm trying to do my best. This is great. Okay, it looks like we're starting to, for the most part, wrap up here. All right, so next task. The leg is the focus. If the dot is on the right, you're gonna lift your right leg, tapping it with your left hand. So now it's all crossing the body, okay? So if that through, the focus is leg. So if it is on, I don't want to cue you inappropriately. Sometimes I get all discombobulated here in these screens. So it's crisscross, right hand to left leg, left hand to right leg. The leg is the focus. And of course, crisscross is the same, right? As you wrap up here, put your arms out in front of you. Take your time wrapping up. And now you're gonna start to hinge back where you feel your abs wake up. Some of you, it's gonna be a flat back. Some of you will be a rounded back. Okay, so feel those abs connect. Take your right arm up to the ceiling and take it back down. Then take your left arm up, take it back down, take both arms up. Take them back down. Keep your abs engaged, make it challenging. Follow the pattern. If it's right arm, it's right dot. If it's left arm, it's left dot. And then both, which always is more, more difficult. <laughs> Good. Make sure those abs are on. You're starting to just heat up the midsection. And when you're done, your arms will all be in front of you. You can sit up for a moment if you need a quick break.
Good, take your arms out to the side when you're finished. Find that re-engagement again. Take yourself and hinge around back. Feel your abs just turn on that last little bit. Like, can you go one more half inch back? And you're gonna stay there, arms out to your sides. They are gonna remain. This is all about lifting the feet. Right leg or left or both. Yes, your knees could still be bent. Yes, you could lengthen the lever and go straight legs if you so desire. When you're done, my guess is you're all gonna wanna sit up to have a moment. Excellent job, no one's hesitating on that one. <laughs> All right, last one. Really gonna whoop, light the mind up. Okay, so work-wise, you're gonna find the hinge back, but it's all cross-body, arm-oriented. So if it's on the right, your right arm dives to the left knee. If it's on the left, it dives. So find your slight hinge or roll back. Feel your abs come online here. Good, arms are gonna be up overhead. Great, so if it's your right, your right arm is gonna go down, lift up your left knee or leg and tap it. Put those limbs back where they came from. If it's left, your left arm comes across the body and taps your right knee or leg. And then both, right, you're gonna lift, knees can bend, yada yada. So now you get that it's cross body. Ready? I'll give you a little hat. The star is both, the square is left, and here's always my hint. The circle is right, or you can think right is round. The R and the R are sometimes helpful, okay? So here you go. The star is both, square is left, circle's right. I see some smiles out there in everybody's deep concentration. Use those abs. Whew. And when you're done, you're actually gonna roll over onto your hands and knees. <laughs> what appears to be a subtle start to a class, au contraire. <laughs> awesome job. Good, you see what's so great about those. You can right level them up as much as you want. It can turn into a full teaser series if you were right there. Hands and knees it is, everybody. I'm gonna keep you there for just a moment before I bring my camera to follow. So hands and knees, I want you just to start thinking about the spine. So you're gonna let the spine round like a cat back stretch, and then tip your tail to the ceiling and let your chest reach forward in your space. Good, tuck the tail under and round the spine. Tip the tail up, let the chest lift and reach. You keep going. This is the same as what we're gonna do. I just want you to start thinking it through a little more intentionally. Stop thinking about the middle of the back where all this hinge is happening. And instead, direct this with the tailbone. So your tailbone is the boss, and then the rest of your spine follows suit. So that initial movement change, you're actually gonna feel in your abs. So how do I orchestrate my tailbone starting to change in that other direction? without just feeling like I'm actually just being lazy and I'm just hunching or just dropping my chest to the floor. So get really in tune, let your tailbone be the leader. And then I want you to come to neutral. And neutral is just your natural curves, right? Start letting your body sway side to side. So you're just gonna shift your weight from hand to hand. I actually love doing this, lifting the one knee off just a little bit. So when I shift one way, I let the knee lift and shift the other way, I let the knee lift. This is a really nice way to just start awakening a lot more things in the pelvis and in the back. And 
and also be mindful, right, we're warming up the wrists and forearms. So make sure you're kind of putting some weight into those. And now with all four limbs down, can you start a bit of more of a circular pattern? So with hands and knees, you're going to let your whole body circle around. Awesome. Go the other way around for three, two, and one. Come right to that hands and knees, nice and center. Now rock forward and back a bit and be really honest with yourself about where you like to sit your weight. Most of us are gonna sit more of the weight in our fanny because our upper body is not as strong as our legs. So now find a place where you can tell there's weight up there in your upper body as well. You're not shying away from it. Tuck your toes under behind you. Take a big breath in. And exhale, lift your knees one inch off of the floor. Lift those knees up, fire those abs. Good, firing those abs. Three, two, set them down so slowly and gingerly that maybe I didn't notice they came back down. Take a breath in, exhale, lift them one inch. Take them up, find that inch. Good, stay right there. Now come down so slowly, I almost can't tell. Final one, lift those knees one inch. Good, stay right there. Take one more round of breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Now straighten your legs and pipe your butts up to the ceiling. So lift those hips up in the air. Wonderful, now can you bend one knee and then the other? You're just doing a little walking in place. Good, so you'll start stretching out the back of the legs. One heel reaches, the other knee bends, and you'll just go back and forth, back and forth. Let your hips now go with you a bit more, right? So you're gonna invite your hips to swing side to side. You're just really trying to show off this little side to side movement. And give yourself three, two, one. Reach both heels toward the floor and draw your chest to your thighs. And now walk your hands back to your feet and you're gonna come all the way up to standing. Thumbs up if you're feeling wide awake now. <laughs> Good, okay. So we are gonna stay standing. So if you need to make any camera adjustments, feel free to do that just whenever needs be. Okay, we're gonna start arms out. So we're looking to take up a lot of space in our room. So you're going to reach to the very edges of your space. Good. I'm trying to frame myself right up so I keep reaching. And in my screen, I'm touching Bonnie and I'm touching Dad. Pull me. Okay, here we go. Lift those circles. And I want you to feel loose in the lower half. So I'm kind of bending my knees. If I move back, you can see. Bending my knees, letting my hips go. I do not need to be statuesque, right? I'm starting to just let my feet feel the earth and trying to be really strong in those arms. And I'm thinking length. I'm really trying to touch the two of you on either side of me. Go the other way around the circle. And again, moving with that intensity that we're stretching. There's nothing flimsy about this. It's almost like I'm moving my arms around in mud and I'm really trying to work through that thickness. And then we're gonna stay right there. Now just let one hip shift side to side. So we're just gonna move side to side. No right or wrong. You wanna bend the knee and stick the hip out further, twist a little at the waist, but just keep reaching those fingertips as wide as you can. Now let's coordinate palms up, down, up, down, up, down. Please keep your knees nice and light. They're bouncy. Keep a little bounce. Oh yeah, my shoulders are definitely awake. Everybody's got four, three, two, one. Stay with your palms up. Draw one arm in. My palm is facing me and I'm going to look at it. And then I'm going to reach that arm up and I'm going to shoot the basket. And then my arm comes back, and here's where we're looking at the palm. Now here's how it changes. When I shoot, I'm gonna look away. When my palm comes down, I'm gonna look at it. Shoot, look away. 
shoot, look away. I guess you can feel like it's this, I don't know, a cocky little shot, right? I took the shot, I don't even need to look. Look, so we're just starting to wake up, neck, shoulders, the entire shoulder girdle. Woo, my other arm is awake. Four, three, two, and one. Keep that arm out, palm up. Oh, slide that puppy in. That's tired. Look at the palm. Take a shot. Look away. Look at the palm. Take a shot. Look away. Go whatever pace you need to. All right. We'll frequently find that one side is a little trickier to coordinate. Keep that other arm straight out there. Oh, my, my eyes are going backwards. Look away when you shoot. Look away when you shoot. Look away when you shoot. Four, three, two, one. Both arms wide. Reach as far as you can. Reach, 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 reach. I would like to see your face and your full screen if you didn't feel that in your shoulders. Okay, great. <laughs> We're going windmill arms, Woo! which is going to feel like ah, work because of what we just did. So we're getting a really good stretch in here when we're going into those windmill arms, which is what was just working, right? Woo, that feels needed. Can you make sure and keep your width, please? So don't get small. Woo, wide, 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 wide. Four. Three, two, and one, arms come down. We will get into triceps later. All right, so where I would love for you to go is onto your floors, onto your stomachs. And we're gonna stretch out real long, so I guess just make sure nothing is in your way. I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera down on this end. So when you come down onto your stomach, let's go ahead and just start with our hands right by our shoulders. Always keep that hand towel, you know, present in case you need it for a little lift. All right, hands down by the shoulders, reaching through those toes. So you're trying to get real long here. Forehead starts down. So lengthen through your toes. And see if you can actually now push your knees into the floor, lift your buttocks up, and reach it closer to your heels and set it back down. And then just reach through your toes a little further. So we're just trying to lengthen out that low back. Lifting the forehead off of the mat, press into the arms to rise up. Now I will say with my arms at this distance, I feel most of the hinge in my lower back. So I'm going to walk my hands forward, just the scotch, because I want to be able to soften my low back and actually feel in this portion of my spine that that's where I'm curving the most. So be mindful of where your body needs your hands to be. And then you're slowly going to take yourself back down. So it feels different when I get down here because I moved my hands. Press into your hands, lift the head first. Now you're gonna to look to the right and then press your arms up into your extension. And I'm not just looking to the right, I'm now trying to look up towards the sky into my right. Let those eye muscles work. And then come down, head through the center. Lift the head, look left. And as you press up, keep looking as far left as you can. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. And as you come down, head comes to center. One more time, head lifts, look right. And now push up, push up, push up. We're gonna stay here. We're looking right. You're gonna bend your left knee and then point and straighten your left leg. Bend the knee, flex the foot. 
point and stretch. Bend and flex, point and stretch. Bend and flex, point and stretch. I bet you a lot of us can feel this in the front of our thighs. Hams or quadriceps tend to get rather tight when we're seated. Two more. Flex, stretch, flex, stretch. Look to the center and down. Adjust your arms anytime you need to, please. Pressing up, looking left. Right foot, bring it in, flex, point, bend, reach, bend, reach. Think flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. Keep gazing left, two more. Flex, point, last one, and point. Lower down. Now lift right up to the center. I'm gonna look a bit towards you, but you can look straight ahead. Now what I want us to be aware of this morning, or I suppose any time of the day, you're doing this later, is when I am here, and maybe we feel like, you know, this isn't too much work. I'm just here, an extension. Now start bringing your awareness into, well, what would happen if I had to lift my arms off? And then you realize how much you're actually just wedging yourself up there with your arms instead of your back muscles. So I'm going to first ask that you lift your right hand off of the mat. It doesn't have to be big. As soon as it's off, the work's happening. And then set the right hand down. Now lift the left hand off the mat and set it down. Keep going, alternating. Now you're starting to become more aware, I'm sure, of what is actually needing to work in your backside to create extension. That it's not just in my arms shoved me up there. Good, can you lift one hand off and your elbow and put it down? Good. That cue was for some of the littles in the group. <laughs> lift your elbow too and down. Last one, arm up and down. Ready? I don't know, we're gonna lift both. What do you immediately feel the need to do? Probably walk your hands forward or drop your elbows, right? So lift your elbows up, walk forward as much as you perceive you're going to need to, and then you're gonna start working at lifting one arm, then the other at the same time. Now you become very humble because you're like, wow, that's my back muscles. Put your arms down gently. Don't use them, just set them there, light, 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 light. Now keep your back muscles awake and straighten your arms. Ready? Lift one hand off. Oh, the other one's coming off, so I gotta, I'm gonna lower. My back muscles aren't happy all the way up there. Both arms up. Ooh, find your spot. Okay, set your hands down gently. Don't use them, they're just ready. Okay, now keep your back muscles at attention and start to press through the arms as well, but don't lose the back connection. One more time. One arm's going out. Find the spot where you can lift both. Stay right there, keep reaching through the toes, through the fingers, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Now slide your hands back to the mat, but keep them super duper light. Keep your back muscles on and start to press your way up to the top. Now stay right here. Now your body knows what's supposed to be working. You should probably feel a very different attentiveness in your back muscles than you did initially. Take your right arm, slide it out to the side, and then take it up and around and put it back where it came from. Left arm, slide it wide open to the side, and then take it up and around put it back where it came from. Right arm slides out, up and around. Remember this circle could stay smaller, out to the side, up and around. One more time, out to the side, up and around. Last one, out to the side, up and around. Now lower so that your elbows touch the floor. 
I'm shaking like a maniac. So what I want to tell you is if you just dump your elbows down and you're like, okay, well now there's no work, you lost the connection. So here we go. Elbows are gonna open out to the sides. And then I'm gonna slide them back in underneath it. Elbows open out to the sides. Whew. Now use your back strength, get those elbows underneath you and then push into those arms. Elbows out to the sides. Oh, I wish I could stay right there, but I lower just a bit. Get those elbows back underneath you and lift that chest up. Try to hold it. Can you stay right here? Turn on your butt muscles, turn on your back muscles, open your elbows. And then try to get them back underneath you and lift up for what you may have lost. Holy Moses, one more. Open the arms out. Whoa, stay right here with me. Reach to your toes, now flutter kick your legs. Keeping your arms out to the sides. I'm reaching my elbows as far to the sides of the walls as I can. Keep flutter kicking, I hope your butt feels wide awake. Oh, relax some of those faces. Reach through the crown of your head, not your nose. Three, that's a good correction, I saw some too. And one, hands down, and kick back to toes. <laughs> oh, there was some faces. Not many hear about that one. But give a nice stretch. Maybe even open your knees a bit wider than your hips here. It's really just your preference. Woo, baby. All right, take one arm, dive underneath. Let's get a good rotation here. And you're going to peek under that armpit. And then taking that arm back out, dive the other arm under. Oh, yes, that feels good. Big breaths into your low back. <sighs> and then drawing that arm out. All right, great job. Okay, we're gonna go into side lunge. So, good news is you don't have to fight gravity with your back muscles here. So come to lay it all the way down, and we're gonna extend that bottom arm out. You could use a towel underneath if you prefer. But I would love that bottom arm to be straight, and the palm is up to the ceiling. Okay, legs are out straight as well. Make sure I'm not gonna kick my chair there. All right, here we go. So palms up, toes are pointed. And now what I want you to just recognize is how much of your side body wants to take real estate on your floor for stability. So I'm gonna ask, can you gather up, like you're just gonna create, I pull my shirt up, a little gap, right? Here's my ribs sitting down heavily. Here's me activating like I could just slide that blueberry right under my bottom rib. And I'd like you to stay there. So yes, you're gonna feel more pressure in your hip and the floor. So I have a little sense of gap here. Musculature, like the musculature, not necessarily my flesh, right? I may still be physically touching. And that top leg is gonna venture up, forward, down, behind. Up, forward, down, behind. You're making a square. So make a square shape. Pretend you're drawing a square with your big toe. You can decide how big it is. Obviously the key is to not fall over. And come to center. Now take that top arm lift it up. Now you're probably gonna go from, you know, a pretty decent sized box to like jewelry here. Little squares. Woo, keep it tiny, you're gonna need to. Not a lot of risk here, right? You're just gonna roll over. Go the other way around for three, two, <laughs> last one. Keep it lifted center and lift it up and down, up and down. Pointing the toes, so we're stretching through the top of the foot. 
Woo, keep managing that sense of balance. Right, there's a lot of wiggling going on here because I'm not letting my rib cage just anchor into the floor. So a little lift and lower. Three, two, one, keep it lifted. Lift the bottom leg up, down, up, down, up, down. Try not to anchor into that rib cage. Oh, baby. Squeeze them together. Heels are touching. Both legs go down and up, down and up. Is everyone feeling it here? And up. Last two. Up. Last one. Keep them up there. Keep them up there. Keep them up there. Now you're going to pulse the top one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Ah. Oh yeah, I need a meat tenderizer there. I gotta pound that out a second. <laughs> if you didn't feel that to that intensity, I'm just gonna say, well, congratulations. That must be your, your smarter side. I wish you the best of luck on the other one. <laughs> oh, that's a killer. Uh, most of us, if you're right-handed and you tend to go left leg dominant for sports, this is gonna be the side that kills you. All right, here's where we're going. If you have a towel, you can just pop it out of the way. And here's what's gonna happen. The front hand to the floor. That other arm reaches under your armpit and give yourself a little hug. That's for me. Okay, bend your knees, folks. Options, push up. And head back down. <laughs> push up. Okay, the other option is Go down a little, come back up. Maybe you don't go all the way down. Another option is you get really close, but don't rest. There's where we're going. When you go down, shoot your legs out straight. When you come up, bend your knees. Down, up. It's all about the triceps now. Play with where your hand position is. I just had to pull my back a little bit. I was too far forward. Woo, wee. Four, that counts for Deb. Three, two, push up, stay. Slide that other arm back out. Lift that top arm up. Straighten those legs. Everybody ready? Top leg goes forward, and you're gonna roll to get right on your pelvis. All right, front leg, start rolling those hips back and open right back into this star position. Let the leg lead and roll. You're trying to do that with control. Now flop on your tummy. Start opening the hips and find that star pose. One more, leg forward with control. Control, slow motion. Hips open. Slow motion. Stay right here. Lift your bottom leg also. Stay right there. Lift, lift. Drop this elbow down. Bring this hand to the front. Bend the knees. Slide the arm under. Ready? Here we go. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Make it as big or as small. Rest at the bottom if you need to. Four to go. Four. Three. Two. Ah! One. Ah! Done. There was nothing uh, smooth about that dismount. <laughs> Let your knees bend in front of you. Let your arms open wide and just look over your shoulder. Give your spine a nice twist. It's also a really great chest opener for that right side, assuming you're on the same side as I am. All right, well, that's a wrap. We'll be done for today. All right, we got to flip over, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm gonna bring my towel with me. 
<laughs> so straight arm underneath us. We get turned a little bit more. And the palm is up towards the sky. So we're going to focus on that lower body here first. Okay, so again, if we're thinking in terms, my shirt's so loose. If we're thinking in terms of that rib cage, we're just being aware, right, that we're not going to constantly let this part of our body fall into the floor. So think of picking that part up. All right, let's see. Maybe keep the hand down for round one, just like we did. So legs are reaching, body's long. Ooh, get a little longer if you can. Okay, the legs coming up, forward, down, and back. We're making a square. The key is to feel like half of the square is in front of you and half of the square is behind you. So try not to just circle with the leg in front, for instance. That's the more common route. Woo, and you'll feel it when you get behind you, right? You can sense your muscles go, whoa, 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 don't fall back. Reverse it. Take the square the other way. So draw a square with your big toe. Woo! I think if any small children are present, they should massage their parents. <laughs> Keep that leg lifted. Now take that top arm up. So remember how I was saying, you might find one side you organize easier. We'll see. All right, sir, uh, squares again. But remember, woo, this probably gets a lot smaller. Don't beat yourself up about that because this is difficult to keep that core control against the movement of that leg. Go the other way around your square. Ooh, lots of things waking right up here. Two more. Keep that leg lifted. Take it down, up, down, up, down, up. Last two. Last one here. Keep it lifted. It's the bottom leg now. Take it up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. <laughs> Glue them together. They're both going down. They're both coming up. Down, up, keep reaching those toes long. You're gonna feel that top toe slide over the bottom toe as you come up, but let that bottom one be a fighter, stay long. One more, come to the top, stay there. Pulse that top leg, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, mercy. It's like when that grabs you, <laughs> there's no going back. <laughs> oh, okay. Legs will be bent. Top hand is going to come in front of us. We're going into triceps. So take that bottom arm underneath. Give yourself a hug. So that bottom arm is close to the body, right? And then this one jumps in front of it. Okay. So play with where this hand is, because it does very much influence how this feels. I'm not saying one's easy, one's hard. They're all just different. So listen to what you need and try different spots. So up and down we go. That just got a head start. Well, good luck. You're on my count, sister. <laughs> See, this is why muting is so fabulous. Straighten the legs when you go down, and as you come up, straighten. Bend, straighten, bend, four to go. Deb could outdo me in this department, no problem, just so you all know. <laughs> Two more. Last one. <laughs> Coming down. Oh, how's everyone feeling? Um, I just completely forgot what we did in the intrum there. Oh, thank you. I know, I'm like waiting for one of you to pop up. Yep, okay, elbows on, hands down, arms out. Give that little push. We did our rollies from our side to our bellies. So you're gonna lift that top leg, slide it forward. That actually feels really good. 
And then hips come across slowly as you make your way onto your tummy. Now open your hips back, sliding yourself back to our star pose. Leg goes forward. Now this is to be in slow-mo. And then legs shift the hips, slow-mo. Ooh, that bottom arm is shaking. Let's go two more, forward. Slow motion here. Use everything in your waist and in your back. And then hips open, find the star pose. Final one, forward you go. Slow-mo. And then open time, that star pose. Woo, elbows down, bend the knees, hand to the mat. Second step, here we go. Straighten those legs when you go down, bend as you come up. It's an option. You can just do whatever you want with your legs. Keep them straight or bent. Woo, nice work. Four. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Bend those knees in front of you. Open those arms out and look the other way. Did I forget anything? Great. <laughs> I got thumbs down, so if I forgot something, it was not something you wanted to do. That's what I know for certain. Okay, everybody, get ready. It's out time. You're gonna go on your back. So get nice and comfy for a moment. Oh, it's gonna be great. This is great. Everything is, everything else is primed, so here we go. Hands are behind the head. And please, let's just start with a simple chest lift and lower. So for us, it's that classic mini sit-up. And we're always asking ourselves if we can think more of a float than we think a chin nod. For those of you where your contraindicated is that flexing or that curling, Right? You don't have to lift very high at all to just feel those muscles turn on. And that's what we're looking for. We want the feeling. We're not worried about how big is the look. So get really in tune here to that floating, and then we're going to stay. So hold right there in the float. Take your arm free, one of them. It doesn't matter to me which one. And you're going to reach over. And you may add a rotation if that works for you. And you're gonna touch that opposite leg. And then you're gonna start circling that arm around and I'm staying in my sit up. And now as I go this way, I'm looking at my hand as it comes to my hip. And then I'm gonna lift it back to the ceiling. All the while I'm up in the float. Reach across, touch the other leg. Big circle with the arm and then let the chest and eyes follow the arm back to the same side hip. Arm up. Cross over. Touch the opposite leg. Circle around. Circle around. Keep now as soon as you can look at the hand, do so. And you come to that leg. Now, same arm up to the ceiling. Now lift your opposite leg. I am still in the sit-up because that's what I chose. I'm floating. Now opposite limbs are gonna reach and come in. Reach and come in. Reach and come in. Now the foot that's still on the floor, float it up. Reach, come in. Reach, tap that leg. Reach, tap. Reach, tap. Reach, tap. Reach, tap. Reach, tap, last one, reach, reach, tap it, now stay there, push it, push it, push it, lengthen out that other leg, push, 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 push it to the other side, three, two, one, done, please exit with grace. Oh, <laughs> I'm not even going to 
to look to the screen. I don't want feedback. I know we're all feeling it. Okay, I'm going left hand behind my head. So I'm going to the other side now. Find the float. <laughs> there it is. Up to the ceiling, the hand goes. Bring it down, crossing it to the other thigh. Circle it around your head. Over to the other side, look at it. Maybe add a little twist if that's okay. Same side leg. Up to the ceiling. Reach across, touch, and around we go. Letting the abs follow. Touch, same side leg. Arm up. Reach across, touch. Big circle around. Let your abs follow. Same side leg and up. One more, reach across, touch, around the arm goes, same side leg, and then lift the hand to the ceiling. Opposite leg is in tabletop. They're gonna move away from each other and to each other, and away from each other and to each other. Let them keep moving in those opposite directions. Now start hovering the foot that's sitting on the floor, Find a little hover. Ooh, that is cranking it up, is it not? Touch that leg now. Four, open. Three, open. Two, open. Last one. Now push into that thigh. Press, press, press. Straighten out that other leg. Reach, 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 reach. Four, three, two, one. Gracefully. It's now. <laughs> reach those legs out. Reach those arms out, give your abs a stretch. Oh boy, I have a sense we are going to feel that in the upcoming hours and days. Okay, arms down by the sides. Okay, so in this one, we're gonna alternate between the legs moving up and off the mat, legs staying down and the butt coming up and off the mat. So I say this because although I have my hand towel, I have it folded so thinly, you don't want to have anything too thick there because then when you lift your hips, it's pushing your neck funky when you're in bridge. So keep in mind that you might need to make an adjustment if you are using a hand towel behind your head. So hands down by the floor, give a little karate chop, and knees will be bent feet down. Okay, so now in this position, the first thing we're going to do is take a leg to tabletop. Now, I want you to think of setting the stage here with your trunk. Our spine is going to stay in the same position, and can you just hover that other foot an inch off the floor and put it down? Pick it up, put it down. One inch, pick it up, put it down. Feel what's happening, how you have to coordinate everything to support no movement in the spine. Now take that leg to the hover, and now switch them, and the other foot goes down and up one inch. Down and up, down and up. Very commonly we'll feel like one side, this is a non-issue, and then another side, it feels much harder to coordinate. Both legs come up. Now take them both down to the floor, Pick them up one inch and down, one inch down, one inch down. Now I want to feel my abs working to lift my legs. I'm not looking to keep dumping my low back into the mat as a way of hoisting my legs up. Use your abs. Use your abs. Three, two, one. Take them the inch. Don't let them touch the floor. Slide them as far away from you as you can. Slide them back in. Maybe you have to go further up. Maybe you only slide till your legs are almost straight. So the legs go away from us and come back to us. Go away from us, come back to us. Aim high or low. Two more. Last one. The feet come down and they're fist width apart. Now, push through your heels, but keep your butt down. Just push into your heels, push into your heels. 
You know how at this point, your fanny should just be loose. There's, I don't have any engagement. I'm just pushing into my heels. I can feel my legs, but my butt is relaxed. Now, you're going to lift one heel off one inch. Notice how the one glute really kicks on now. And then put that heel down. Lift the other heel one inch. Put it down. Keep alternating the one inch heel lift. Keeping in mind that yes, our fannies are touching the mat, but you'll start to notice it feels really light. Right, I'm not sitting heavy on the mat. I'm feeling like my butt's doing just a very, very slight hover. And then start noticing what's happening. We'll make that leg get higher now, going more into a march. Again, I still feel my buttocks on the mat lightly. But I'm noticing how my glutes are waking right up here. And then when both feet find the floor next time, Engage your buttocks muscles and lift your butt up away from the mat. So now I'm recognizing, yes, I'm pushing into the heels, but I also have to ask my butt to do some work or my butt's just gonna be hanging down. So engage the rear also. And now alternate, heel, lifts. Whole foot, really, whole foot lifts. Lifts, lifts, I'm keeping it short. Just a quick little lift. Now let's make it bigger, going more into a march. March, I do not want my butt to say when my leg comes up. Lift, lift, keep that butt working. One more. Now lift the leg, now cross that ankle to the opposite knee. Now down and up goes the rear, down and up. I'm imagining my hips stay level as they press upward. I'm trying not to rotate here. Easier said than done because of how our leg positioning is. Three, two, stay up there. Hold, 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 straighten that other leg out. And now open it to the side, bring it back in. Open it out, bring it back in. Open it out, bring it back in. Two more, open up, bring it in. Last one, open out. Now lower, look what's happening. I twist it at my waist. I lower this leg down. And then just slide it underneath you. We'll come back to that. <laughs> All right, bend the other knee. We're gonna lift the buttocks up, pick that other leg up, give it a bend. Now that ankle's resting on my knee and I go down and up. Try to keep those hips level. Woo, it's harder on this side for me. I can feel that. Lift up. Really use that butt. Try not to get into the habit of just creating this look using momentum. Ask this butt muscle to elevate you. Elevate. Elevate. Two more. Lift. Stay at the top. Lift. Straightening out that leg, open it out and in. Out and in. Try to keep those hips level. I know it's so hard. Two more. Out, in, last one. Drop it to the floor. And then slide it back in. Stretch those legs out. Reach those arms overhead. I don't think I need to have a thumbs up whether or not you felt your hamstrings. I'm pretty sure you did. And then taking all those limbs back together. All right, one more, hands behind the head. Take a breath in. Exhale, float the chest. Legs to tabletop. This could be done in tabletop the whole time, everyone. I'm gonna go straight legs, you may also, but please know that it could also be just to knees. So I'm gonna extend my knees and then my legs away and then bring them in. This could also, here's my version of tabletop, just moving from the knees. Out and in, out and in. The out represents 12 o'clock. Bring them in. Now go to one. Bring them in. Go over to two. You can lift one hip off. Come back in. Go to three. Stay. Lower down. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, up to nine. Come in, reach to 10. Come in, reach to 11. Come in, go to 12. Go to six and up to 12. And six, up to 12. Six, we go up to three. Come up to three. Down through the six, up to nine. Remember, this can be done in tabletop. Down to six, up to three. One more, down to six, up to nine. Back to 12, bend your knees, lower your head. Let's bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a little rock. Again, legs to one side, arms to the other. So reach those arms out, let your eye gaze, I should say let your eye gaze go opposite your knee. The arms can be long. I really love this as just a chest stretch as well. Can we switch? Let the legs go to the other side, let the eyes and the neck switch as well. All right, finding a comfortable position for you on your backside. Let's just go through a nice body check to wrap up today. So as you come to lay on your back, find the most comfortable spot, whether that's knees bent, maybe a pillow under your knees. We're gonna go arms out towards the sides, palms open to the sky. And make sure you can allow your shoulders to just be. Sometimes you'll find you open your arms wide and then it pulls your shoulders into your ears. You might just need to lower your arms a little. So let's start with some ankle circles. Go the other way. And then from the feet, think flex and point. And you start doing it in a pretty quick pattern. If you were to look at me, you're gonna see me rocking. What I love about this is it gives a wonderful, if you let your body just follow the feet, a wonderful little nerve calmer. So find that rocking. Just calm down the body. And then just take that slower and slower until you come to rest, letting those legs be. You might even feel a nice little buzz in your body. Right now I can really feel that in my palms. Why don't you start taking a few breaths, being very intentional to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. So just give yourself a few knowing you're using that breath to cool your body by breathing in your nose. Exhale out the mouth, letting go of the heat we were building. Let's start at the toes and just feeling as if there's just a wave of relaxation that's going to wash over us that starts coming over our toes and our feet and our ankles. And just visualize it. Sometimes I see it like a light that's starting to shine. And now my feet, my ankles, illuminated with the light and it starts traveling up my calves, my knees, my thighs, covering the pelvis, the hips, the low back. And let's stay right there a minute and take a big breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, see if you can let the belly and low back soften but you're not holding them at attention. They're supported here by the earth. 
One more breath in. And exhale. Feel that wave of energy come up the spine, covering our abdomen, our ribs, our chest, and all of our internal organs. Letting it come up to our armpits, shoulders, arms, hands, and fingers. And now it's like the neck is begging, me, me, me. So let that wave of energy now come up above our shoulders and wash over our cervical spine, softening our throat, our jaw, our scalp, our eyes, letting the eyeballs actually just feel heavy as if they're sinking deeper into the socket. Relaxing the tongue. And then imagine that beaming light that just washed over us, radiating out from right between our eyes. And then a crown of light on the top of our head radiating out, connecting us to all. Breathing as it feels most comfortable. Let your thoughts go to an intention for your day. Just a word you're gonna keep present with you. And maybe it's something you feel you need to draw in, or maybe it's something you feel capable of giving. And when you're ready, you can begin to roll yourself over to your side. Now, please take your time. I hope everybody has a really great day. I love starting my day with all of you. And if you get to do this again later, I hope you lose memory of what was going to come. There were some, there were some burning moments in today's movement patterns. I think we were all in that together, yeah? <laughs> all right. Okay. I care for you deeply. Have a wonderful day.